You're burning fat and calories, building your muscles, giving your heart a real workout. You're not pounding, running, or panting. Your feet are planted, your mind is calm, your body is fluid. Well, I'd like to introduce you to Terry D'Angelo. She's a blue belt NIA instructor. My name is Christine Clifton and I'm a white belt NIA instructor and we're going to talk to you today a little bit about NIA so you know more about it. Hi Terry. Hi Christine. How are you today? I'm doing well. Great, great. We had a super NIA class today. We did. Mm -hmm. We had a great um, play shop mm -hmm. and um, people seemed really into NIA and the energy is just still, still there. Yes, it's, it's ebbing with us. So we're <laughs> going to share a little bit more about what NIA is. I love NIA. It's a total mind, body, spirit celebration, says Christian Northrup, author of Women's Bodies, Women's Wisdom. Nia is both therapeutic and enjoyable. The movements feel natural and open up insights and feelings that will make you feel like you are discovering yourself in a new way, says Bernie Siegel, MD, author of Love Medicine and Miracles. It's a great way for patients to get fit without injuring themselves. I'm impressed how the gentler movements of Nia get people into their training range for excellent cardiovascular benefits, says Dr. James Garrett, orthopedic surgeon and medical director of the Center for Sports Medicine. The Nia technique, the high-powered, energizing workout that gives you a new body and a new life. Um, why don't we start with telling us about your experience with your first NIA class and then what NIA is for you today. Okay, I first um, discovered NIA a few years back in 2005 and um, it was after uh, a bout of some physical illness um, symptoms that I had and I was looking for a way to move and dance and um, I had heard about NIA and I didn't know what it was, um, what it was about, but I went to um, a couple classes and I started to move differently, I started to feel different, and I said, this is something for me, this is something I need to teach, and I want to bring this to other people. Mm. It felt very healing to me, and one word, I think it's transformational. Wow, well that's powerful. And I know for me, t uh, Terry taught the first NIA class that I took, and I was really amazed by it because I live with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue, and I did not experience any ill effects after that movement uh, class with NIA. And there was something very compelling for me about it, uh, knowing that it is more of a healing modality than an exercise class is really powerful and I felt the same way. I wanted to find a way to bring it to other people. So, so let's talk a little bit about the movement forms. Why don't you start with the, the three major uh, movement forms? NIA is a combination of um, arts and practices um, that have been around for quite a long time. Um, martial arts, dance arts, and healing arts. And the martial arts, we bring in the energy of Taekwondo, the strong <laughs> energy, yeah. um, Aikido, which is blending in the space, the circular movements, and also Tai Chi, um, slow and purposeful, mm -hmm. gentle movements. Mm -hmm. Then we have different dance techniques like jazz, jazz dance, <laughs> show person, show person, right? Um, moving from the top, Duncan dance, opening the heart, and um, modern dance. Modern dance is using shapes in space and creating something out of our bodies. Mm -hmm. And then we have the healing arts, which consists of yoga, 
um, the Feldenkrais method, which is about um, sensing, sensory awareness, and then the Alexander technique leading from the top. So we're really transforming mm. our bodies mm -hmm. through all those different energy movements, which make it a lot of fun, too. Fun and inspiring, I believe. And well, But that sounds like a lot. So I can imagine someone hearing Nia for the first time to hear, oh, nine movement forms. I have to learn all those different modalities. When, in fact, Nia brings in the essence of those modalities. So it doesn't sound as, it's not as intimidating <laughs> as it sounds. And when we incorporate it into class, it's blended with a lot of fun, which brings the emotion into it as well. It allows us to, to speak through the different parts of our body. And it isn't overwhelming. It's in our own time, what we call natural time. So it doesn't have to be like clockwork that you have to necessarily follow a step. It could be in your own movement, in your own way of doing a move. Mm. Your move um, can look very different from mine, yes. yet doing the same similar type of step. Mm -hmm. And in class today, I realized I had this little kink in my shoulder, and so some of the moves that I chose <laughs> to do were to try to work out that kink, and I have to say that I feel a lot better. Than you worked out the kink. Yeah, I worked out the kink in my shoulder. So that is really powerful to think that someone can be empowered to heal themselves by dancing Nia. It absolutely is. To, to teach people how to heal, self-heal, is what um, Debbie and Carlos Rosas, the founders of Nia, um, that was their thought behind this. Movement mm. that helps to heal and align the body um, to make dancing our life, dancing through life. Yes, I love that part of my training, dancing through life. And Nia's been around for 25 years. So it's, it's not a fad, it's something that has had a lot of research put behind it, a lot of um, development in exploring the different movement forms that have finally come into being what Nia is today. That's true, what, what you say is, is right on. It's scientifically, um, it's, it's consciously and scientifically put together really to make the best of our alignment of our feet and our heads and our shoulders, the way we carry ourselves. A um, lot of thought, and as you said, the arts, it's a practice mm -hmm. um, that was put into this. It's not a fad. Yes, and I like the word practice too. In my training, we use that a lot. We're practicing, it's not perfect. It's something that is different. We're never in the same space with our body feeling the same way. Um, you know, repeatedly, everything is different in terms of our experience, and we can step into a NIA class however we might be on that particular moment in that particular way and experience NIA in different ways each time. That's what you're saying is, is NIA is for everybody, and it's true no matter what. Um, what you're feeling that day. It could be done um, sitting down. It could be done very gently um, for older people, for younger people, mm -hmm. for everyone in between. Yes. Male and female, everybody can do Nia. Yes, it's non-impact and it's done barefoot, believe it or not. And what that does is it reintroduces, uh, in a way, our body to its natural um, form and its natural movement. Uh, and it's it, it aligns itself and takes care of itself throughout the class. It feels yeah. great. Yeah, <laughs> it feels great, great to dance in bare feet, I think. Oh, I was <laughs> amazed at how I felt after my Nia training for a week. Uh, my feet were totally feeling the earth again. They've been in shoes for so long, so to have been barefoot for a full week during my training was really a spectacularly fun experience, and I became um, reacquainted with them. Yeah. Wow. So it's inspiring. It is inspiring. <laughs> and hopefully this little introduction has um, uh, introduced you to Nia enough to find out a little bit more. We happen to teach in the New Jersey area. And you can visit our website at www.neanewjersey.com. Great. We hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> The very first class, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> the very first class, uh, for the first time in my life, I felt at home in my body. I felt like my body was moving and doing the things that it was meant to do, and I had never felt that way in my body. I've been chronically ill my whole life, and 
had always felt um, disconnected and kind of at war with my body, and that uh, that brought me home, brought me brought me here to now. It's great, it's great, it's great, it's great.